Well, well, hey there, you, you beautiful sons of bitches. It's me. It's your boy, Joe. Um, I'm doing another video on my phone, because I can't be bothered to lug a big old heavy DSLR around. Um, got the lighting and this is just dreadful, I apologise. There we go, that's a little better. Um, it's been about six years since I last did, um, a collection video. Uh, and I've been putting this one off for so long, <laughs> and it's grown so much since then, that I think, uh, I need to, um update you all because I have a lot more than 75 robots now uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a little tour uh, around my room uh, and you can see all of the different robots that I've uh, accumulated in the past six years um, there's a lot there is a lot I've decided that since I've not got any immediately incoming robots um, I, I, this is the perfect op opportunity to jump in before uh, the siege toy line hits us and I, uh, uh, and I start finding new bots to stick on my shelves, um, and clog it up. I've literally run out of room at this point. I need, like, even more shelves. I bought new ones, like, that one there is new. Um, I've got new glass cabinets, um, I even made, like, a little display on my window there, like a little window box out of Power of the Primes packaging to uh, so I could display things on the window without any risk of like yellowing from the sun so <laughs> so uh oh that's also a new display there that tall one but let's get to that as we get to it for now uh let's start off with uh the shelves above my computer so this is my combiner shelf uh this has as you might expect all of my combiners and uh also a big boy at the back there, and also any like assorted, just like combiner characters who don't have a dedicated um, uh, torso or gestalt for them. So, uh, starting at the front here, we've got uh, Combiner Wars Prowl and Power of the Primes Jazz, and behind them we've got Abominus, Power of the Primes Abominus. He's got the perfect effect uh, hands and feet which look pretty bloody awesome, if I do say so myself. And uh, a big uh, cannon as well. He came with two cannons. The other one is with um, Rodimus Prime. Uh, hiding behind them, we have Defensor with uh, Rook as, um, as the arm there. We've got Groove as well, the Deluxe Groove. Uh, I had the Legends one before, but I got rid of him when I got the Deluxe. Uh, there's Scrounge who came with uh, Combiner Wars Computron, and uh, I think Cybax is, is his name? Yeah, Cybax is his little gun guy. Um, I bought this guy off Matt, uh, Matt360, uh, who got the Computron, uh, Combiner Wars Computron, but didn't want Scrounge, so I jumped in there, got another little yellow guy. He's really cute, I like him. And then, oh, my boy, this is Unite Warriors Computron, so you got Afterburner, Scattershot, Strafe, Nose Cone, and Light Speed. Uh, again, with perfect effect upgrades. Um, this was one of the first things that I ever pre ordered from Kapow. I was that excited for him. And he looks amazing. I I kind of understand what people see in the, um, the regular Hasbro version, but this is a thing of beauty. Look at him. Just look at him. He's gorgeous. Uh, between his legs, you've got uh, Power of the Primes Battle Trap, or Battle Slash and Road Trap. There's Power of the Primes Inferno. Uh, behind him, you've got Menasaur, Combiner Wars Menasaur. Uh, you've got Superion with Alpha Bravo. I don't have a slingshot, but I'm very happy with Alpha Bravo. Behind them is my custom Broken Mirror Shattered Glass Omega Doom from uh, an Energon Omega Supreme. And then we've got Bruticus there with, again... Perfect effect. And then down there is um, Blackwing and Dreadwind. That's them. Move on to my Lost Light shelf. This is, as you might expect from the name, the more, more or less the entire cast of uh, More Than Meets the Eye and Lost Light. Um, well, that's what it's intended to be. You get what I mean. Um, but starting from the left, we have right at the back, Overlord who's got a couple of stickers on him looking very sweet. 
Um, we have the completed monster bots. We've got Repugnus, we've got Grotusque, and we've got Double Cross back there. Uh, then we have Sunstreaker, Universe Sunstreaker. There's Generations Brainstorm. Uh, Combiner Wars Smokescreen. Um, a knockoff oversized Generations Power Glide. And next to him is uh, Chancel Wars Legends Dogfight. Legends in both uh, line and scale. Um, I picked him up from uh, TF Nation this year. Uh, it was a little bit of a surprise by. But I really like him. He's very, very cool. Then back here we got, there's Crosscut, who I've stickered up, and you will probably have seen from Ascension. He is my uh, Auto Troopers, um, the generic Autobots uh, warriors. Then we got uh, Trailbreaker, or Trailcutter, depending on who you ask. Uh, there's Ravage, the original Universe Ravage. Um, behind him is Mastermind Creations Turban, or Whirl. Uh, we've got Prime Ratchet, standing in for my G1 Ratchet. Uh, Generations... Generations? Titan's Return, that's it. Titan's Return Brawn. Uh, Rewind and Chrome Dome, that's the Timelines Chrome Dome. Uh, as you might, might see, he's a repaint of Wheeljack. Then back there is Nightbeat, but he's got the Beelzebos kit and he's got some custom paints, but my camera decided to be a silly thing and stop recording before I could say his name, so it's Nightbeat. Front and centre, we've got uh, Hot Rod, or Rodimus, uh, sporting a custom Shapeways head, which makes him look more uh, Matumty. Uh, is that going to focus? Well, there we go. Ooh! Discovering focus on this camera. This is exciting. There he is, uh, looking very nice. Behind him is that bastard getaway. Uh, then we've got my favourite character from More Than Meets the Iron Lost Light, uh, Megatron. Uh, he's not sporting an Autobot badge um, because this is how Megatron looks in the Ascension verse before Broken Mirror, when he's on Earth for the first time, and I want to use him like that more. Uh, well. I'm going to use it like that if I get a chance to do any more uh, little animations in that time period. Um, as you can see, he's also got a uh, custom Shapeways face, which... Zoom in. Focus. Look at that. Oh, I'm learning so many new things with this camera. It's great. We can see that, again, inspired by More Than Meets the Eye and Lost Light. Love this. Oh, this is exciting. Then we have uh, Ultra Magnus with... Um, this is technically the Legends version, the Japanese version of this Magnus. Uh, but I put Minimus Ambus inside his chest. So he's he's very nice. I like this a lot more than I like just the regular Magnus. He is he's a lot more colourful. Um, a lot more nice paint app, so very cool. We got Drift, your boy Drift. Um, sporting a, uh, a special sword. This isn't his regular, pla like, rubbery sword. This one's, like, proper plastic. I think I got it from the uh, Cyclonus upgrade kit that came with Tailgate, uh, or Make Toys Rear End, who's also here. Um, spoilers. Uh, yeah, he holds that quite nicely. It's very nice. I got this from Max, I think. Yeah. He's very nice, so he's got stickers too. Uh, hiding behind him, we got Hound. I apologise as well if this video is, like, really dark. Um, <laughs> it's my my shadow's being thrown all over the place, and I have one light source there, and it's it's not great. So I, I apologise if I blinded anyone too. Uh, we got Swerve there, down at the bottom. The regular generation Swerve, who gave him a gun. Um, Legend Skids, again, bought him instead of the... Uh, well, I, I bought him after I got the Generations one, because just look at the colours, man. They're so much better. So much better. Uh, we got Make Toys Rear End, um, otherwise known as Tailgate, who you will have recently glimpsed in um, the Tailgate short <laughs> that um, I worked on with um, my girlfriend, Abby, and Mason, Larry, uh, Rob, Graham, who did the voice of Bulkhead, um, turned out so great. I'm so pleased with the reception that, that it's been receiving. Um, especially, like, because he, this version of Tailgate suffers from, like, severe anxiety and he has panic attacks. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that that was um, done properly and with respect. Um, 
and like if I did if I was going to do a story like that then I made made sure that I did my research and I knew what I was writing um so thank you everyone who watched that and who left a really nice comment it really means a lot to see that I made a positive uh impact on uh, on people's lives by making it um so yeah thanks guys anyway there's Mirage, Combiner Wars Mirage. I like him more than the universe one, don't hate me. Uh, there's Red Alert back there. That's where Inferno would be. Um, got Cosmos, that's just the, the first release, the Generations one, who came with um, Payload, his Minicon. Then we got Highbrow, uh, Silverstreak, and Broadside, who's got a couple of uh, upgraded weapons too. What's the best angle? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We'll do another zoom there. Yeah. That's not working. But he's got some cool extra guns and things there. So, yeah. Lost light. And the combiners. Right, moving on. So you can probably see that these are my desk bots. Um, we've got Generations Thundercracker there. Uh, we have Mate Toy Striker Manus, who's one of my all-time favourite toys. Uh, there's some random Lego bits there, although I really like them. Uh, behind him, we have the uh, Sports Car Patrol, some MicroMasters, uh, which are some of the oldest Transformers I own. They came from 1990. Uh, but we've got uh, Roadhugger, Hyperdrive, Detour, and Blackjack. Uh, behind them is a cute little um, uh, Robot Heroes Shatterglass Treadshot that Matt made for me um, from, like, a Jazz and a Perceptor. He put them in, put them in a little, uh, gla like, clear plastic... Uh, case for displaying, so he's really cute, I like him. Uh, then we've got MMC uh, Oberon, Oberon, that's it, uh, who is Obsidian, Beast Machine's Obsidian, another of my favourites, I love him. Uh, and then we've got uh, MMC Stray Asterisk, who is um, uh, a third part, so it's IDW Drift, but with Age of Extinction Drift's colours. And many of you will know that I hate Age of Extinction with a passion. Um, <laughs> but Drift in these colours looks incredible. He's gorgeous. And he's got this really cool cape as well. It's made of like proper like fabric. Uh, I love him. I love him. Um, MMC uh, Coulter, otherwise known as Tarn from the DJD. He is, again, another one of my all-time favourites. Um, he's just like such a good toy for a third party figure. You'd ex you expect a lot of third party toys to be like really over overcomplicated and over engineered, but he's perfect. Um, oh, that reminds me, I forgot. There's Thunderclash as well on the Lost Light. There he is. He's a remold, and I find it very difficult to choose between the two of them which I like best. But yeah. Uh, so there's Tarn. And then we've re got the recently released um, Power the Primes Punch Counter Punch figure there, who's very, very nice. Uh, we swing over to the window display. Here we go. This is all. Awesome. So, there is Beast Wars Megatron, who I picked up at TF Nation this year. He's so good for a 20 year old toy. He's so good. Uh, we've got Planet X, Kalos, and Quirinus, who are full of Cybertron, Swoop, and Slaug. Slaug, put whatever vowel you want in there. Um, Power of the Primes Rodimus, he's really good. Um, and I've given him Abominus's additional extra blaster gun thing there, because he, he needs a big gun. Uh, Power of the Primes Outback, there is Power of the Primes Slash, some random Lego minifigures there, don't worry about them. And then we've got some more MicroMasters. I really binged on them this year. We've got Tote, we've got Barricade, we've got Stakeout, we've got Flak, and we've got, uh, I think it's either Neutro or Ground Pounder. There's a Skywarp! Most of, most of like, the things I don't really care about in my collection now sit in these drawers. Like my Movieverse stuff and other like random bits are in that third drawer there. And there's a few like little legends guys in there and a knockoff masterpiece bumblebee from Matt. These were postcards that I got from Auto Assembly 2011, signed by David Kay. He's he's awesome, he's cool. He did that video, remember? That one where he's, where he said subscribe to me, Crosshairs Productions, yeah. And uh, there oh that one signed by Greg Berger, of course. Um then we've got this commission of treadshots. I had done, I think, Auto Assembly the last one. 
by Lee. Uh, oh my god. Lee Bradley, that was it. Lee Bradley, he did art for the Transformers UK comic. Um, also, there's five billion Zimbabwean dollars uh, because that currency is now defunct and useless. Um, this is a um, text spec card done by Nick Hardy, a wonderful man and photographer, um, and also a father, congratulations, uh, who was doing these at TF Nation 2016? 2016, I think it was. Um, and yeah, my, my quote down there is, uh, censored by order of the duly appointed enforcer of the Tyrist Accord. Cause I think I'm funny. Uh, all my stats there. Obviously I am the highest ranking member of Crosshairs Productions being the leader. Um, I think Dan had a bit of fun with his, so I'm not having that. But then we move over to some more toys. Hey look, Devastator. What a... Big boy he is. Look at him. Tall, handsome, green man. And we got, um, Year of the Snake? Year of the Snake, Omega Supreme, who's a War for Cybertron coloured version of the Energon Boy. Um, carry along the back row there and we'll work my way down to the left because that's fun. We've got Planet X Vulcan, aka Grimlock. We've got Megatron, Thundercracker Skywarp. There's Roadbuster in there, Soundwave, Cyber Battalion, Jetfire. This is all kind of like my Cybertron, War for Cybertron shelfy thing. But Jetfire's a bit of an anomaly because he's not really from that. But whatever, I want him in there. Um, you've got Optimus Prime, there's Fireflight, there's Magnus hiding behind him. Uh, Bumblebee, Planet X, Asclepius, otherwise known as Perceptor. And Sideswipes down there too, yeah. Uh, these fine fellows on the side here, we've got, uh, Depth Charge on the right, TFCC Depth Charge, there's Rampage, there's Transmutate, and there is, uh, TF Nation 2016 exclusive, uh, Mass Toys Rune, otherwise known as Glyph. She's very, she's a very lovely lady, she's very classy, I like her. Yes. Um, got Ratbat and Laserbeak, the little, uh, Data Disc boys. And over here is my pirates. These are my pirates that I kind of put together and like create my own crew. I've mentioned before that I am planning on doing something with pirates as a stop motion because I think that would be really freaking awesome. Uh, but we've got Cannonball front and center. We have Skybite and Axor at the back. Um, we've got Pounce and Wingspan or the clones from Botcon from the same year as him. Um, there's Brimstone, who's a Fire Flight repaint. Uh, Chop Shop. Uh, Squawk Talk, who I kind of imagine being like Cannibal's pirate, like parrot. Pirate parrot. Power parrot, 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 parrot. Um, Power of the Primes. And then we got little um, Transformers Prime Cyberverse Flame War. I'm looking to get the deluxe version of her as well, because she's my holy grail and she looks so good. Yeah. But that's my pirates. They look heckin' fly. Yeah. Uh, some more art things here. Um, these are my postcards from Auto Assembly 2015, 2011, 2013 that I all had signed by the voice actors and guests there. So we've got Somali Montano um, as RC. Dan Gilvazan did that one for Bumblebee. James Horan did uh, Wheeljack there. And my dear friend Peter Spellos did that lovely little sky bite. So... Yeah, that's a lovely little mural. I had fun putting that together. Um, speaking of more Skybite, I love Peter Spellos. There's a commission from Nick Roche of Skybite singing a song from West Side Story. Because I'm a musical man now. I sing... Um, yeah. This was cool. Thanks, Nick. I'm trying to whiz through these because I know you've got better things to do with your life. Uh, these are my Dettol shells. I got these a uh, couple months back because my wooden bookshelves really weren't cutting it. Uh, and they were like sagging in the middle. You know, the kind of thing that they do. Um, so I replaced them with lovely glass shelves to display my figures in. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's open them up, shall we? So... Oh, here's an interesting thing. This is one of the uh, Transformers trading card game cards. It's Flame War, of course. 
Uh, my good friend James Rose, who also gave me that little flame war there, uh, let me have this one, because I love this woman. Not as much as I love my girlfriend, but, you know, this is holy grail. Anyway, open up door number one, door number two, and push my guitar out of the way. Um, so this shelf, it, they used to be relatively organised, but now they're just like mesh up the colours a little bit and make them look neat. I rearrange every so often. Um, it's even now it's getting a bit crowded, so I need to do something about this. But at the back we've got, um, there's Takara, Titans Return Astra Train, who's in like the darker grey. There's Octane, or Octone, the greatest disappointment of my life. Uh, Blitzwing, the Generations Blitzwing, with the uh, three faces. Uh, Titans Return Megatron, there's your boy Kickover, your, your boy Kickover, there he is, hiding behind Skullgrin's axe. Uh, he was, he was a good, he was a good boy. He, he was just troubled, just had PTSD. Uh, sideswipe, Universe Sideswipe. And then we got, there's uh, Wheeljack, Generations Wheeljack. Uh, Warpath, there's Skullgrin, there's uh, Titan's Hardhead. Then we got uh, Generation, uh, sorry, uh, Titans Return Skull Smasher Cruncher. Um, this is, I, I call her Bumper, because she's sort of that, but she's technically Yellow Cliff Jumper, based on like an animation error from one G1 episode. It's the Classics Bumblebee with um, the BL's Boss head, uh, which is the Cliff Jumper head there. Um, but she looks really nice. I've made Bumper part of my, like, Wreckers, the Ascension vs. Wreckers. Because Nemo girls, and I like the idea that there's someone out there who's trying to show that, like, who's trying to, like, not get confused with Bumblebee. Um, and trying to like, prove themselves as their own bot. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, you got Orion Pax, Beachcomber, uh, a custom, not custom, um, this is Eject, who is... Uh, one of Reaper Labels, Toy Hacks' uh, conversion kits for Titans Return Rewind, which just makes them blue. Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, then we've got Tankor, Generations Tankor. He's very nice, big, chunky boy. Uh, let's go to the right now. So we got... This is slightly more of a Wreckers shelf, I think. Um, but again, it's not really kind of specifically that. There's a few like odd ones in here. But we've got... Um, uh, it's the Takara version of Generations Blur, his more metallic blue. There's Roadbuster, uh, MMC Spartan, aka Impactor. Uh, there's Springer, the original... God, this was such a good figure. This was a game changer, man. He was a game changer. When was the last time we got a triple changer this good? Pre-2013. Um, we got Top Spin and Twin Twist, the Titans boys. Uh, Takara Legends Cup who had his little Target Master Man somewhere down there. There's Generation Scoop. Um, we got Dark Mount, aka Straxus. Generations RC. Yep. There we go. Now everyone can see you. Uh, Titans Quake, who is awesome. Um, Turbo Master from BotCon 2011? 2011? No, not 2011. 20. 2012, I think it was about 2012, that one. Uh, or 2010. It was around that time. Uh, Generation Scourge. Um, got Rumble and Frenzy. But which is which? Anyway, there's a... Uh, okay, this was fun. This little happy sucker is a custom laser beak. Ten points to the first person who can guess what he's made from. Okay. Because <laughs> this was inspired, I have to say, even by my standards. Um, <laughs> and there's Blackjack. I can't remember if I already mentioned him. Uh, if we go down the shelf, we've got MMC Turmoil, who was, or MMC Comatus, who is Turmoil. He was gifted to me by um, a chap named Scott a couple years back. This was my first fan gifted figure, and it's like 70 quid. You're insane! Um, but he's cool. You would have seen him in um, Turmoil vs. RC. Here you go. Oh, that was a bit uh, 
Sorry. And then we got uh, Titans Alpha Trion. Not so sure about this guy. Might want to get rid of him just to get, save on some space. Um, Hunt for the Decepticon Sea Spray. This is the only Sea Spray I need. Look at this big boy. Uh, there is MMC Anarchus, otherwise known as Kaon. His little spider drone is down here too. Uh, there's Generations or Legends Ratbat. Who is that shiny purple and gold Scourge? And I love him. His colours are so good. Uh, there is Trax hiding back there behind Crasher or Fracture from the 07 movie line. Uh, Generation 2 colours RTS Jazz. Uh, we've got Teradive. Legends Roadblock. God, my lighting is awful. Um, he's, got, he's got his Target Master 2. Um, Weird Wolf. Little Doggo Boy. He, he angry. He very angry. Uh, got Scrapnel, who I painted the eyes on slightly, actually. You can kind of see. Because uh, I think they were grey, and I didn't like that, so I made them red. Um, Bombshell and Kickback. Again, I did the um, the eyes on, on him. You can kind of see. I did him, his eyes, and his eyes at the same time. Because um, I had... Because why not? Because they look boring. But that red really makes them pop. And then we got Bumblebee, because of course we have to have a bloody Bumblebee in this uh, in this charade. Uh, but this is the RCS version, who's got slightly more orangey-yellow, a bit more like the movie-verse version of him. Um, I like him a lot, though. Uh, as much as I knock Bumblebee, this is a very good toy. Uh, moving on to the next shelf, we got um, Decepticon Target Masters, Slug Slinger, Misfire, and Trigger Happy. These are all the Takara versions with their Target Masters. There is a custom, I keep on saying custom, it's not custom, well it's sort of custom because I painted his head. Uh, it's uh, Smolder, who is a conversion kit for Combined Wars Ironhide. Um, I'm very pleased with him and again you would have seen him in the uh, Smolder short that I did, which has no story. Um, got Titan's Black Shadow or Sky Shadow back there, he's very cool. Uh, there's Six Shot from the same line and behind him is Jetfire. This one is the uh, Takara version because he doesn't have the uh, red chrome uh, weapons. He's just plain red plastic. Um, and I preferred that. And if you like the gold, the gold, not gold, if you like the red shiny, then that's fine. Um, we've got Lockdown there, who's awesome and old and floppy. <laughs> Uh, there is Titan's Croc, who I've actually taken off of, like, pretty much all of his crocodile bits and made him, give him, like, a custom hover car mode. I'll put a picture, like, here. That's what it looks like. I'm really pleased with that. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've got Generations Gold Fire, there's Wheelie, and there is Mech Ideas Piston. That's it, Piston, who is a crankcase, who's a repaint of Iron Fist. Uh, and then we got dog, uh, not dog fight. We got Viper, uh, Combiner Wars Viper. Yeah, who goes with um, uh, what's his face, Cyclonus? That's it. So we drop down another la level. Um, the lighting's getting even worse now, uh, but you can just about make out my reflection. Hello. Um, but back there is Power of the Primes Rodimus Unicronus, otherwise known as Shattered Glass Rodimus. He's had some labels done on him, and he looks excellent. Uh, we've got Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, my custom Beast Hunter's Optimus. There is Planet X Hephaestus, who you can just about see. Um, that I'm using as my Shattered Glass Grimlock. Uh, that we've got. Uh, there's Bulkhead hiding in the shadows here. No real like proper way to make like make him visible. He's hiding. There he is. Take my word for it, he's there. Uh, you've got Bumblebee, you've got the original Wheeljack, who's now retired, because he's a floppy boy. Uh, there is um, Robot Manuel X and Robot Basil Z, who were Auto Assembly exclusives. Uh, they're repaints of um, Mech Ideas, Top Spin and Twin Twist figures. I think it's Apex and Geminus or something. But yeah, Shattered Glass. Uh, Jump starters. Uh, Ratchet! Shatterglass Ratchet is a slight repaint of um, Beast Hunter's Ratchet. You can see on his hands, I'm really pleased with this. I did this a couple years ago actually, but I've done some green on his eye and his center little thing, his little 
round thing. But I've splattered his hands with like blue and red to look, make it look like Energon and blood. I, I'm really like happy with how that turned out. It looks awesome and it adds so much character to him. Um, I want to have another play with this little guy. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. It doesn't make sense in the context of Transformers Prime, but whatever. Uh, and then he got um, it's the two junkie on the two shot glass junkie on who aren't Retgar. That will do. Yeah. Over on this side, this is kind of like a miscellaneous shelf. There's it, it's like uh, there's some movie bots on here, and there's some other like kind of 2001 and back figures. Um, so at the back, you've got Fire Convoy, otherwise known as R.A.D. Optimus Prime. This was from Max. He's missing a load of bits, um, and he's a bit floppy, but he's pretty cool. Um, it, it, uh, this idea has kind of gone on the back burner, but I'd like to do like a proper restoration of him. So like fix up the chrome, find all the parts up that he's missing. Um, and get him some like proper tires as well because these have fallen off. You can kind of see there, they're gone. They're gone! Um, <laughs> back there, we've got Robot Masters, Smoke Sniper, there he is, and Dread Winged. Dread Winged? I don't know. Dread Winged, there he is. Um, there is Prowl hiding back there, RID Prowl. Then we've got. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon here, very nice. Uh, surprised I actually found him at the price I did, because I only got him a couple of years back from this Chinese seller, which on eBay is immediately quite dubious. Um, <laughs> but it's turned out all right. He has the same issues with like the canon as everyone else, but you know he's he's fine. Yeah. Uh, Dark of the Moon Q Wheeljack, whatever. He's really nice. I like his vehicle mode a lot because it's like. It's, I mean, it's it's a high-end Mercedes, but it's a recognisable Mercedes. Um, he looks very cool in that. Uh, we've got Dune Runner, we've got Breacher, who goes with Sea Spray. There's Sideways. We've got Fear Swoop, who was in a package that I got recently from uh, Shadow Elite 217, a.k.a. Jay. He's very nice. I've missed this mould. He's very nice. I had the Overcast a couple of years back, and then I sold him. Uh, we've got Hailstorm. And we've got that Bludgeon uh, Wreckage repaint from that two-pack with Whirl. Um, he's pretty cool. I do have Wreckage as well, but he's being filmed with. Um, yeah, I should also explain as well that not all of the figures that you see in this collection update, like, not all, not all the figures that I own are here. Um, some are downstairs on the filming board. Some are... In the box there, in the boxes there. Um, I mean, there's, there's no real nowhere else really that they that they are. Um, let's drop down the final level. This is uh, the dedicated prime shelves, actually. God, this one's going to be a nightmare. Actually, I might need to go grab a torch. Hang on. I mean, I mean, I told you that the lighting in this room is awful, but you can see there, bulkhead, Optimus. Those are first edition versions. Ultra Magnus, there is Hotshot, there's a custom Moon Racer there, who uh, I made from uh, Knockout. I was going to put her in Ascension, and then I realised that the paint scraping was going to be quite an issue, and also, she's the exact wrong colour <laughs> to be green or blue screened, so that's not happening, unfortunately. Um, there is Smokescreen, there's RC, Ironhide, First Edition Bumblebee, there's strong arm from RAD, uh, RAD Windblade, uh, Wheeljack, Prowl, who's got some Reaper labels, and then two of the um, uh, mini cons. That one, Stylor, came with Chrome Dome, and that's uh, Iro, I think, Iro, who came with Ironhide back there. Um, and this is oh, this is uh, the uh, Ascension vs. Bum Bumblebee head, who you just swap it out with that head there, and you get get a Bumblebee, get another Bumblebee, fruit two Bumblebees for the price of one bee. And then over here is the dimly lit, <laughs> terrifying Decepticon uh, shelf. So right in the corner there, you've got Shockwave. Um, there is Megatron, who I painted up in colours resembling his IDW stealth bomber form. He looks really cool. It's like a like 
real dark side Megatron there. Um, there is the... What is it? The upscaled Cyberverse Predaking with a massive piss-off sword. Skyquake and Dreadwing there. Um, you got Dead End. There's Fracture. Got Thunderhoof. I don't need the light now. Thunderhoof there. That's Wild Rider's elephant gun thing. Um, Scorponok. He's quite nice. I like him. And a custom barricade who uses a... Um, so this guy was conceived from the um, Auto Assembly Bad Cop exclusive custom figure. Um, I I got the kit at a later convention because I was too young at the time to um, uh, do the class. But I I got the kit and I swapped out his head for one that belonged to Hailstorm. And I'm really pleased with this guy. He looks awesome. I need to do a bit of trimming so that his head can fit in vehicle mode, but other than that, he's really nice. Um, but that is the Detolf shelves. I really hope this video has mostly been in focus, because if it's not, this is going to be crap. Um, <laughs> so th this is actually quite a fun little um, thing that me and my dad put together. These are two se separate shelves. This is just sat on, on top. Um, there's nothing like securing it in place. Um, hang on. A few inches later. It's perfectly secure. What are you talking about? Shut up. Um, this was a fun little thing to put together. Um, it, I really felt like I was kind of customizing my room with these, like this kind of area, these shelves. Um, so there's some Lego bits down there. That's quite nice. Um, joking hazard. Love that game. Um, some Transformers books here. Uh, can I just like get light? That'd be great. Uh, so there's the Art of Transformers Prime, the Allspark Almanac. There's the TF Nation 2017 um, animated comic, which kind of ties up the series. Uh, it's unofficial, but I like to think of it as the actual way that it, that it ended. Um, so get back, get back in there. There we go. Um, there's also like some little comics from like the MMC reformatted figures. Uh, this bottom shelf here is is cute. I like it. I've got some MicroMasters. I've got some Beast Wars. I've got some Funko Pops and some other books. Right, let's see if I can remember who these guys are. I know he's Sea Watch. Um, I can't remember who they are. I think they're like the Decepticon Airstrike Patrol. I think one of them's Storm Cloud, one's Night Flight. I think it's those two there. The other two I can't remember. Um, you can tell me in the comments. But I'll probably find out in like 10 seconds, so whatever. Uh, some Funko Pops there, it's quite nice. Got those at work. Um, this was cool. I, uh, I was about to say, I got this. This was a birthday present from from Abby. Um, we went into Camden a couple months back, and I spotted this uh, this cool light in a shop called Millennium. Um, and <laughs> she, she bought it for me as a birthday present, um, which was very, very sweet of her. And I, I love this woman. I don't deserve her. <laughs> So thank you, Abby. Oh, yeah. you, you melt my heart, you do. Um, another little thing from Camden was Armadillo. He's missing his weapons and thus his back legs, but I bought him for eight quid at a place called Monkey's Emporium. Check it out if you're ever down down there, down in Camden. Um, tell them Joe sent you and he bought an Armadillo a couple of months back. So, yeah. Um... There's Razor Beast, my boy. He's still got two of the same upper thigh. Upper, upper thigh? Yeah, the thigh. Um, <laughs> but he's great. He is my, my my dude. This is my Beast Man. Because, like, actually, Razor Beast was one of the first Beast Wars characters I came across because of the um, the reprints of uh, the Gathering comic in um, the Titans um, Transformers comics. So Razor Beast was... I guess my bumblebee is in a weird way. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, there's some clones. Black Series clones are kind of cool. I painted that one to give him like a... Make him part of the 501st and... Uh, got a uh, little crosshairs on there because... Why not? Um, there we go up. Another shelf. I'm going to have to get the torch again. Wait for me. There we go. Uh, back there is the original Ascension Megatron. 
Um, as he, you know, he's made from Skyhammer. Um, quite pleased with him, but obviously now retired. Making way for Riot of Despotron. Oh, yes. Um, this guy, you may have seen me tease on Crosshairs Productions. Um, but nothing, unfortunately, is going to come from, from that. Because uh, I am doing a load of rewrites. But this is... Um, no, I, I won't tell you. I won't tell you who he is. Because I'll make you guess. But there's your colour scheme you're working with. And your face. Get in there, see if I can... There's your face. So he's a repaint of Roadbuster. So see if you can work out who he is. Uh, we got Generations Whirl. Uh, there is Sky, Tread, and Loudmouth, and Scorponok, the Headmasters, or Titanmasters, rather. Stockade, from the 07 movie line. Uh, Salvage, from the same line. Uh, I love these two. I've been, I got into a bit of a 07 movie toy um, renaissance recently, and these two were... I had Stockade before, but it was missing his window bits. So it's very nice to get him in full. Uh, down there is Clobber, uh, who came with Mindwipe. I don't think I pointed him out. Mindwipe is there. He's uh, he's on there. That's the, the Takara version. Um, but he's got um, Primer from the Counterpunch figure as his uh, jaw and arms. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, back there is um, Revenge of the Fallen Dirt Boss, who is he's got weaker ankles than me. Um, there is the Generation 2 gift set Optimus Prime, who is very underrated. He's got some very cool light piping. Back there is, um, what was it? Power Core Combiner Sledge, I think it is. Um, turns into like a digger thingy-majig. Uh, and then we got 07 Classic Camaro Bumblebee, who I got for two quid at uh, TF Nation. Because uh, why bother on 20 quid for... The Studio Series, which is smaller and has, well, I think it has about the same kind of QC issues, but whatever. And then there's the original Magnus that I got. Um, that's the just the regular Combiner Wars Magnus. Um, I don't know if it's, no, Alpha Trion is elsewhere. But yeah, he's there. I have plans. Uh, up we go! And this is my Shattered Glass uh, Decepticons shelf. Because uh, there's not enough to warrant putting them down down here somewhere. Um, although, who knows, that may change. But at the back, you've got... Um, there is Universe Blades and Springer, who I am using as Blackout and Grindor, uh, the Shatterglass versions of, the, of those characters. Uh, they're kind of like brothers, um, but it's playing on the whole thing of, like, those two look the same, but they look the same character. Uh, Octopunch, back there. Um, who Mason got for me in Canada. Thank you, Mason. He's still awesome. Uh, this is Combiner Wars Starscream, who still looks amazing. One of my favourite toys, actually. Um, he just looks so good. Um, and he looks really awesome on Superior as well. Uh, there is Chancellor's Prime Cyberverse Skyclaw, or otherwise known as the Twilight from Broken Mirror. Uh, got a Shattered Glass Stepper, who is... He's an Autobot at the moment, but... I'm thinking about him, because you may remember a certain uh, Shattered Glass Decepticon who we came up with a couple of years back had a very similar colour scheme. So, who knows? Back there is a random white Perceptor who that Matt sent to me. He's got a Shattered Glass Decepticon logo on him. I might turn him into Soundwave, I don't know. I might do that with um, the R.I.D. Soundwave. I feel like I missed a bunch of characters as I've been going past, and I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, and there's Megatron, obviously, not Ultra Magnus, Megatron, and then Minicon Boys, there's Slugfest, um, Nightstick, and Ravage, yeah, there we go, so that's, uh, that's that little shelf, um, I feel like I should properly, like, secure this in place, otherwise it's gonna fall and kill me, um, also there's some comics there, like Last Stand of the Wreckers, um, Blackest Night is there too, one of the few DC comics that I own. Um, and then like all the other Combiner Wars pack-in comics and some issues of um, More Than Meets the Eye and Robots in Disguise. Uh, yeah.
I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Um, and then just around the corner is one of my favourite things I've ever got from um, from uh, TF Nation. It's this print of Megatron, also what Megatron, striding across the battlefield in, I think, Matum T-54. But, like I said, he's my favourite character. Uh, which is weird, because he's the equivalent of Space Hitler. But I, I've loved his, like, character growth and development and his whole arc. Um, and this is just one of the best, like, comic uh, pages like that I've ever seen, I've ever come across. It's brilliant. And this was done by Alex Milne, who also signed it there. Yeah! Uh, just underneath the final shelf, I've got some prints that I got from Camden again. It's like superheroes and Star Wars. There's some more prints here, which were from TF Nation Auto Assembly. These two are from uh, Nate Hammond, who was, he does some really cool art. And I got these at a bargain price this year. Uh, go, go have a look at his things. Why not? Go have a look at his art. I'll put some links in the description there. Fuck it, who cares? Uh, this was um, a 2014 Auto Assembly print. Loads of different characters from different series on there. Uh, oh, this was from a bunch of people at 20, 27, 20, 2018. It's 2018. 2018 TF Nation, who they make big resin models of Transformers characters, and this is their Optimus Prime. SNC is their name. Uh, they've done one for Starscream, Megatron, there's a Jazz, um, and there's obviously an Optimus Prime. Uh, there's a sound wave as well. Yeah, go check out their their stuff. SNC. I might I'll put another link in the description there too. And there's jam, delicious jam. Mmm. Speaking of jam, it's Armada. Wow, that was, that was I couldn't have let the energy drop any more than <laughs> I just did. Let's start in this dark, foreboding corner at the back. Um, oh, hello, little creature. I'll kill you later. Um, back there is, I think, Dark Scorponok, or Black Zarak, um, who is a, well, black repaint of Energon Scorponok. What more can you say? Uh, back there hiding is, um, Universe Overload, who's a repaint of Scattershot. Uh, you've got Demolishor and Cyclonus, and their respective Minicons. Uh, oh, God, I can't remember. I think it's Blackout and... Crumple Zone, or it's the other way around. Um, no, it's Blackout and Crumple Zone, I think it is. There is, I mean, technically he's Generations, but there is Starscream, the Armada version of. Um, focus, please. Give me some in. It's because it's dark, it's got nothing to work with. Uh, behind him, you've got Crumple Zone. Uh, there's Ransack. Um, Downshift, who's a lady in Ascension. Very nice. Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. I got him from Toy Fu a couple years back at uh, TF Nation. He's awesome. A bit floppy, but he's like black and red, and that looks awesome on this Optimus. This is the Optimus I grew up with, the Cybertron boy, where he could only kick any kind of ass if he put on his stupid jetpack. Otherwise, he's fucking useless. Uh, we got 07 Hardtop. There is uh, Cybertron Hotshot. Uh, got Long Rack. I love him. Um, got Armor Hide and also Armor Hide there. Different different versions. Scatter Shot at the back there. There is um, Hoist, I think it is. I think it's Hoist. Uh, but because I've already got Hoist in the Ascension Verse, I think I call him Trench. Uh, this is the Trench, by the way, that uh, Tailgate refers to in his little short. Uh, that is the boy. Uh, there is Excelion, otherwise known as Ascension vs. Rodimus. There is Big Daddy, uh, Clocker, and then we've got Minicon teams here. Um, these guys, what is it? Um, Mirage, Downshift, and Dirt Boss. We've got the Destruction team, I think. I can't remember what which one, what they're called. Oh, by the way, here's um, Prime's Cyber Key. Um, there's Alpha Trion, who came with the Legends version of Ultra Magnus. Uh, and then Minicons down here, we, who came with various Generations figures. So there's Reflector, there's Suppressor, Nightstick, um, Flanker, Spinister, and uh, Payload, who came with Cosmos. 
Then we got Evac, another one from Jay. Very nice. Uh, so I've got three of this helicopter, boys. Uh, I don't know whether I should get the Galvatron one, because I think I might be overkill. The Shattered Glass Galvatron. But, you know, whatever. And I think, last but not least, there is Make Toys Galaxy Meteor, who is one of the first third-party Cybertron figures ever. This is Starscream from the Cybertron uh, cartoon. He's amazing. And <laughs> I'm so glad that he got a second lease of life, because it would have been a tragedy if uh, if they hadn't got enough pre-orders to uh, to create him. Because he's, he's marvellous, he really is. Um, and that, I think, is my collection. So, like I said, there's still, like, there's a bunch of figures downstairs, like Treadshot and the entirety of, like, the art crew um, and the Decepticons as well, uh, who are not accounted for. Um, but they're all part of the collection. I believe at my last counting, it is something like 360 <laughs> uh, Transformers uh, and that's not counting the combiners as their own guys that's counting each individual component um, as one bot so <laughs> oh I have a crippling addiction but <laughs> thank you for joining me on this I'm you know I'm, I'm so glad I finally got this off my chest because it feels like every time I've tried to get this done I've had a new bot on the way and I've been thinking, okay, I'll do it after I've got this bot on the shelf and then I'll buy another one and I'll do it after that and so on and so on and so forth. But I'm, I'm glad I've finally done this. I just have to accept that it's going to be constantly changing. Um, but yeah, this is the collection as it stands now. There's other odds, odd like Lego bits. Um, also, there's this little postcard here from Ben Waspshot, uh, 23. He's, it is this uh, Brawl, G2 Brawl. It looks cool, yeah. But yeah, this is the collection. I hope you enjoyed this uh, ridiculously long tour. <laughs> and um, you're not getting these 45 for an hour of your life back. So, thank you. Yeah. Um, again, like I always say, please be patient. Ascension is still, you know, still coming. I'm still working on it as best I can between working and doing other shows, like performing arts, and just my now even busier social life. Um, but it is coming, I promise, and I'm really hoping that it's going to be worth the wait. Uh, I'm rewriting episodes as well at the same time, so it will it will happen. I know I said 2018, and I still plan to get episode one out before the end of the year. I, I, You can hold me to that. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll stop waffling, and I'll let you get on with the rest of your, your lives. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye!